Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome again to another episode of Minecraft. All this time later, it's been a really long time, but, you know, life. Uh, well, see, the thing is, I do, I, I do pro wrestling, um, and I work a lot uh, when I'm not wrestling and training, so... Get out of here, cow. Uh, I don't. I don't have a lot of time to record Minecraft videos. Not only that, but I have a roommate. He's in the same room as me, so that also makes it difficult. He's not here right now. So let's go ahead and uh, go over some stuff that I've been working on in this world. This is the same world that we uh, loaded into in the last episode. I've just been playing it for myself, so. We'll just go ahead and go like bit by bit, go over all the stuff that I've got uh, built. As we can see right here is an outline for something. I'm not, uh, I don't actually remember what I wanted to put there. Let's start with my little house here. Totally unfurnished and undecorated on the inside, but check that out. Overgrown, really overgrown. Uh, yard and all that. I think that's pretty cool. Got a fairly simple design for the side here. I kind of like how the uh, the building itself gets a little bit wider on the way up. Like bit by bit. Up to the top floor is the, uh, the widest. And then I got this really cool chimney. And that, I love that so much. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is build yourself a camp, uh, fireplace. Put a campfire right there in the fireplace in your house, and then you put another fireplace up there, and it makes freaking smoke. And I love it. Yeah, I love it so much. It's so pretty. Ah. Oh. Okay, so um, let's take a look on the inside really quick. I have pretty much not furnished this at all. I've tried to put a few things in, but I haven't really. Uh, Hasn't been top priority, really. So, bookshelf. Here's the uh, fireplace. Up here, I have a second room. Tiny little room shoved in here. You know, just to try to make use of it. Because I don't, I don't like how... I have a bad habit of... Whenever I build houses like this, I always just, like, leave giant... Like, I'll cut them in half. Like, big old rooms will just... It'll be like one house with like two giant rooms you know what I mean and that sucks so I'm trying to cut them into like small teeny itty bitty rooms over here and yeah that's about it I haven't really done much with this uh, some curtains in here yeah so let's follow here the path follow my beautiful like little uh, lighting things if you have any suggestion on oh my god any suggestion on something else I could use to hold the lanterns, I would very much appreciate that suggestion. Because I don't really like how this looks. But, uh, I can't really think of anything. Because, like, whole blocks I feel like would be way too, bulk eh, way too bulky over here. Uh, anyway, check out my beautiful, wonderful flag for my beautiful, wonderful kingdom. Isn't it awesome? I love it. Flags are cool. I always love building a flag like this in my world. Super simple, but uh, it just adds so much, especially if you have, like, the wave going on there. It just looks so good. I'm thinking about going in and adding, like, a stripe uh, into the middle of it or something like that. Over here, we have the guy who grows uh, uh, bamboo and pumpkins. He lives here. Yeah, I like this roof though. Very simple roof, but actually it's kind of a weird, like, awkward roof, but I, I forgot to finish that part. Oh yeah, I was going to put a fireplace there. Okay, uh, ignore ignore that. Oh, backside, don't ignore. Okay, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got my farms over here. Sheeps. Cows. I gave up on the cow farm. I built myself a cow crusher. 
which basically, extra simple like, uh, if I had wheat, actually I have wheat right here. What am I talking about? Basically, if you don't know, if you're new to Minecraft, or have or are coming back after a long time like me, here, hold on, I need sleeps. Uh, mobs crush and die if they are in one spot, so you just feed the cows right here. They have babies. They have it a babies. And then when they have it a babies, the adults die. And it drops everything in here and it's beautiful and I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else do I got over here? Super simple. Chicken farm. Load up the eggs, let them shoot, let the chickens die, they drop in here along with eggs. So many eggs. So many eggs. I've kind of let it run wild. Like, at this point, everything is full. Because <laughs> they haven't bothered uh, taking any... That's how situated. I'm, I'm super good on food right now. I don't even need to bother with that. This is an upgraded version of my old uh, wheat farm. Which was, you know, a long path. This one is layers. Nothing too fancy. It's uh, eight dispensers up there. And then the water just kind of, you know, flows all the way down and collects everything. Let's go ahead and turn it on for you guys. Papa. I should probably close up these because occasionally stuff gets stuck in, like, the windowsills. But there comes everything. Layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five. Oh, there's only five layers. Okay, so then we turn the water stream off. As you can see, everything gets funneled into here from a water stream right there. As soon as this water stops, the rest of that will shoot right over. And yeah, this, you know, you pick some of the some of it up, the wheat seeds, you go in there, you plant them all and bada bing, bada boom, you wait for it to regrow. Fine farm, simple, basic. Bees. Bees. Bees are cool. I like bees. Something about them. Something about them. Okay. If you don't know. Uh, trees. Birch and oak trees. Have a 5% chance of spawning a beehive. Right? 5% chance of spawning a beehive. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If they are within two blocks of a flower. So... If you need beehives, you got an old world and need beehives, just throw in a row of flowers and then throw in a row of saplings. And one of them might grow with a beehive. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Into my little uh, castle, which is in the mountain because, you know, dwarf life. Pacha. Okay, so, as you can see, here's our map. This is the area I've explored. Chaka, chaka, chaka. Uh, right over here is the jungle where we originally spawned in. Walked over here. We found This is where we tried to build, like, a house uh, in, a, in a rock, and I gave up on that. There's the village. There's where we're situated right now. And that, this is... This is the place. Uh, I built it into the mountain because I love mountains. And we got most of our necessities in this cave right here. Let's go ahead and... Entranceway. Here's my nether. And my mine. Yep. And there's a spot to drop stuff off before you go to the nether. You know, because you don't want to run around and explore the nether with a full inventory. Storage room. 
inventory looking a little shy, but we do have some, uh, I'm trying to get looting. I recently got a looting book from the dungeon of this world. Where is it? It's only looting two, but as far as I'm concerned, that's better than nothing. Honestly, where the hell is it? There it is, looting two. Boom. Not too bad. Uh, little terrarium. Here's my prisoner. Uh, I don't know his name. I don't speak zombie pigman, but he's been a prisoner here for a long time. He's guilty of trespassing. So, yeah, he's stuck there forever. Um, he can't get back. His house is right over there. He walked in here, and I trapped him. That was it. Here's a room. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. Let's go downstairs. Here is my potion room. It's got a couple brew stands. Got some ingredients. Got some potions ready to go right here. Uh, you know, this, because... We, uh, sugar cane is easy to grow in an enclosed setting, and you never know, you know, if I need some sugar cane for some speed potions, boom, we're good to go. Just break that real quick. We got two sugar right there. Uh, ah! Did, did, did. Haven't really done anything with down here yet. Over in this area. This is just still kind of a raw cave. But over here, we have one of my favorite parts of the base, which would be an empty room. No. My skeleton grinder, spawner. Bop, bop, bop. Boom. It's crazy. So much. So, so much arrows. Skeleton spawners are my favorite because of the arrows and the freaking bone meal, boy. Bone meal for days. I love it. Uh, cactus farm. Still works. Simple design. Regular little farm. This, I actually put this in before I put in the big, uh, big crazy one over there. That's just a door. Melons, uh, here's a stairway stars going up to my schmelton room. This is a pretty cool forge that I'm actually very proud of. Very cool. It looks like the, the lava is, you know, feeding in to the furnace right here. And then, you know, looks like, sh you know, I don't know. It's cool. I like it. I think it looks cool. And then also the room is actually functional. We got the crafting table, the furnaces in the walls, furnaces in the big furnace, anvil, you know, anything weapon related that we need or stone related. Here's a kitchen. I'm not done with this kitchen, but I think I'm actually going to change out the walls and I think I'm going to change out the floor also. Just because I want to use this stuff right here that's on top of all this stuff. And I don't want it to blend into the walls. And this floor looks like crap. This cabinet and shelf combo kind of looks cool, though. I really like this. This dividing shelf can also stay, I suppose. Sink. And bottom cabinet. Eh. It's, it's, got, it's got work to be had on it. Maybe we'll try to work on it together after we're done with this tour. Enchanting room, nothing special. Bedroom. This is where I sleep. This is the be first, uh, like first room I built and decorated. I really like the ceiling. Typical conf ceiling. Dresser, you know, thing for books. Sleepy by place. Uh, I really like this desk design. It's pretty cool. Like that looks like some sort of drawer. Like, and it's like one of those thin desks. You know, it's just a uh, wood legs in a drawer pretty much and we're back here yeah oh. oh oh I forgot one thing I forgot one thing the mother frickin uh, mine cart kaka cha 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 my sky rail 
There's a bridge too. It's not finished, so it's fine. We can skip it. I'm actually going to use this area over here. I'm gonna build build stuff all through all this. Um I'm actually a lot more anal about sleeping at night than I used to be in this new world that I have here. I'm not 100% sure why. So I used to just like work. Oh, you know what? It might be those stupid flying suckers. And yeah, this is a village over here. My village that isn't dead because the village that we found in the last episode is dead. There was a raid over there and it didn't work out very well. It was a bad time. It was a very bad time. I'm trying to do some work around here in this village, but I haven't really done too much. I built like one house up there and I've then I've been built some little houses in the wall here. But yeah, I haven't done all too much, but it seems like stuff is starting to get going over here. Uh Oh, I can make money off this guy. Check that out. Okay, uh we're going to keep you chilling around here cuz I like you. We got lots of wool, so try to try to take advantage of that if we can. Okay. Yeah, the issue is that it seems like all the villagers want to stay up there. They don't want to pathfind their way down here. But I'm hoping that if I build some more stuff down here, that will change their mind and they will want to spend more time down here. I made a clear or fairly clear stairway right here. I'm thinking they should be able to find this, especially because their houses are over here by it. By it. But, you know, I don't know nothing about no villagers, man. All I know how to do is build make cool uh, cool houses for them to live in. That's all I know how to do. Let's see, where's the house that I built for these guys? I think that's it right here. It's a very weird village because it goes up into the cliff and then part of it's down there in the water. It's very weird. So let's see. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I got bone meal, yes I do. Pa 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 pa. Cool. Pop. Hit it. I like that. I like that sort of roof. That's very nice natural roof. Green roof as we call it. You know, it's all nat I, I like it. It looks I find that that this simple ass roof right here just adds so much. Like, if you just have a couple buildings with this. Like, super simple, fills up just a tiny bit of space, gives the villagers somewhere to stay. And it's 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 kind of cute. It's like, you know, a planter. Hell, you know what? Why not? Use houses as planters, you know? Have, 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 a, have a couple of these guys roaming around your village, poking here and there. With, like, flowers and such, maybe a tree on top. It's been about 20 minutes. I'll probably cut out a good five minutes of of nonsense here and there. But before we go, my first honey. This is going to be the first honey I get. This is how I think you're supposed to do it with the campfire. Are they mad? I think we're good. We got honey, guys. All right, success. We did it. Honey, the bees are fine, though, right? Are they good? I'm worried about them. <laughs> uh, so, honey, 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 honey. Let's see. I know you can make like a bee nest with them. What about these honey blocks? 
or honey bottles because I want to I want to see about honeycomb block boom 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 okay so we need four of those to make a honeycomb block isn't there also a honey block I don't know okay yeah they're all good bro they're happy they're fine cool 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 uh gonna make a barrel and that's going to be our storage spot there it is barrel boom okay so this barrel right here we're going to go ahead and make a beekeeper's uh, like greenhouse or something like that to keep all these bees in in the very near future. But for now, we just got a couple of trees. couple of... Oh, crap. For now, we just got a couple of beehives, you know. Gonna yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to do in the next episode here. We're going to make a greenhouse type thing for you know for the bees and the flowers and such and I think that would actually be a really cool really cool little addition to our little world here maybe we'll put it like uh, over there where we have the the outline already obviously it would have to be a little bit bigger than that I want them to have a lot of room to be free and roam around and be cool you know right guys you little cuties. Oh, is it really already full again? Wow. Hold on, let me try it. Oh! Make another bee. Yeah, bees. I love it. So yeah, we're going to make a whole bunch of these. We're going to fill them into a greenhouse. And really quick before we go, guys, I want you to know that in the very near future I will be debuting at Wrestle League. So, expect some of that. Some wrestling matches from me and my buddy, my tag team partner. Expect some of that up on the channel too in the near future. It's going to be sick, I'll tell you what. So, it'll be Minecraft and wrestling matches, because Kampf is crazy. Oh, snap. It's getting dark. I need to go to sleep. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe. I love you guys. Bye bye bye.